everyone welcome back to another video cryptic keeper here uh yeah sorry i haven't uploaded in a while it's because um i was like on vacation and stuff and then i got back and then i had to do a bunch of stuff to anyway we're back and we have another video of a giant unboxing so yeah can't wait to get started check that out wow Scan cube, mow you, something. I don't know what that is. Something. I don't know what that is. Scan cube, something. And I believe there's something else in here too. Oh wait, no. And then the mat. Okay. All right. Let's get this out of the way, and I'll bring every each thing out one by one. First thing, D and M thirty seven. Not too bad. I just the reviews for one of the cubes said that it was best with D and M thirty seven. So I just. Decided to order extra. I have way too much cube loop. Mat. Cubicle mat. Put the camera down so you can see now. There we go. Alright. This is the cubicle mat. Cubicle speed cubing mat. Even though I have my custom mat, it is always nice to have extras. Um, so here it is. Pretty cool. I like the design. It's definitely nice. You know, it has the locking mechanism in here, of course, which my other one does not have. So yeah, I like it. It's good. It's a, definitely a great mat to add to the collection. All right, but the reason why we're all here is the cubes. So let me put them all out on the table. We have this. We got more. There we go. Massive unboxing. Free. Free. So, yeah, you know. You know how it goes. Actually, wait, no, these two. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Let's get started with the non WCA just because I feel like the WCA I'm gonna like talk a lot through them. So, this is. I believe the geared hexakaidecahedron or 16 sided shape. It's either that or the tetrakaidecahedron. So either 16 or 4 sides. And I believe, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 sides. So this would be the geared tetrakaidecahedron, which is a pretty good cube. I do really like. Color scheme is nice on these. And of course, you know, color scheme, very nice. Red opposite blue. Yeah, so it's kind of like a Mega Minx type design where you got like this, and then you just have a couple extra sides filled in with some like kind of brownish gold. I believe this is, yes, this is just a 3x3 three three gear cube, but just turned into the uh, Tetrakaidecahedron, which is nice because there's not really much that you can do with gear cubes. Um, outside of like make them like super crazy and stuff um, yeah so like the uh, hexagonal dipyramid that one the obviously the cube the um, barrel I believe I'm looking up in my gear cubes right now um, the geared master morphics and the geared Mega Minks are all um, solved just like this. So, yeah. And then obviously the unique ones are like the uh, Honeycopter, the Skube, the Pyraminx, the 2x2 one that like pulls apart, stuff like that. So, yeah. Very neat addition to my Gear Cube collection because I'm a huge Gear Cube fanatic. All right, next up, let's unbox some GANs. I got two GAN 2x2s, and then we're going to move on to a 3x3, 4x4, 
five by five, okay? Yeah, we got the whole set. So this is a GAN 249V2, and I also got a GAN 251M Pro, which is the Leap version. So the 249V2, this thing will want to come out. Hello? Good sir. There we go. So I got this in black because I believe that is the uh, kind of default for this cube at least. How does GAN, what, how? I don't even know, Dan. I'm not even don't I'm not even gonna ask, whatever. Alright. Here it is, the GAN 249. 2x2. Two two. Alright, so of course, like I said, I got it in black. Let's do some first turns. First thing I notice is that it is very fast. Um Two by two, just kind of have to be fast at this point. Do solve, you know, quick solve. Um, and then in this case, but yeah, it is almost like the corner cutting is. It is way loose. Like it is really loose. Corner cutting is well over forty-five. I believe, right? Forty-five. Yeah, forty-five is easy for this. Is this magnetic? Yes, it is. Yeah, V2M. So yeah, I'd say it's good. It's a good cube, you know. Probably not gonna become my main or anything like that because I have the Volk, uh, the Volk 2M and the MGC Elite 2x2 from the Mystic series, so definitely probably not gonna become my main. But you know, I like it. It's good two by two. And it's a good addition to the collection because I've always kind of wanted a GAN two by two. So yeah, let's move on to the next GAN two by two, which is the GAN 251M Pro Leap. Here it is. This thing doesn't want to open. I think we got it though. We got it. All right, there we go. supposed to be like the 2x2 two two version of the GAN 11M Pro and right away I'm starting to see that you know we got this nice case I totally don't have enough of these this box I'm assuming it comes with a GAN bag and the ginormous pamphlet haha <laughs> look the GAN bag and the ginormous pamphlet imagine that i totally have not enough of these i totally needed a gan bag and a screwdriver i guess i have again way too many of these all right here we go get this out of here pop haha <laughs> yeah it feels a lot like the gan 11 m pro i must say of course, I got this one in stickerless because it's supposed to be better than this one. Of course. Here you go. It is that extra two millimeters, which I like. I like 51 millimeters for my 2 by 2 So let's do this one first time. Feels very fast right off the bat, I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm not a 2x2 two two expert. I don't do 2x2 two two that much, um, but I do still compete in it, so I feel like 
Wait, what? Okay. I don't know how that layer didn't get solved there. I thought I inserted that correctly. I guess I did not. But yeah, this, this is much better than the other one. I mean, obviously it's supposed to be, you know, Yeah, I mean, this one is obviously, this one's loose, this one's loose, this one feels just right. This one feels like it's actually a nice 2x2, two two. it's fast, it's smooth. I would probably put this either behind my Valk 2 or make this my backup main, one or the other. Uh, I don't know, so what do you guys think of this cube? Anyway. Let's get on to the 3x3, three three, which is the brand new X-Man Tornado V2, I guess, because, yeah. That was a lot faster. Let's see, Gan, can't you just... I blame it on Gan as if it's Gan's fault and not my own. Alright, the X-Man Tornado V2M, I guess. Come on, there we go. Alright, here we go, the big reveal. Oh, man. That is nice. You guys have probably already seen a million reviews on this. I know, I got it late, whatever. Yada yada. Oh, that's very Gan like with the the card. I definitely do like the card on this one. This this card is very nice. I say that yet I throw away the card a few days later. Classic Chi or X Men should I say? Wait, this one actually has the X Men logo on it. That's pretty cool. Tornado V two. Is this Gan or something? What? I swear, dude. X Men. We come again. Holy! Now that's a Gan pamphlet, okay? X Man, what are you doing? You're owned by Chi, okay? Or well, Chi technically. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Let's just unbox the cube, okay? Command Tornado V2 because competition block coming out soon. I mean, I didn't mean to leak that. What? Who told you about that? Um, yeah. First turns. I'm trying to like look at the camera while I'm doing this, but my turns are like so fast on the camera instead of like in person that I can't really see. <laughs> All right, there's the magnets. This is a very nice cube, I must say. X-Man, you lived up to my hype. Now, of course, does the logo go like this, like this, like this, or like this, everyone asks. I like it like this. I don't know why. I don't know which way it goes, and I don't really care, but that's just my opinion. Now, see, this is too tight, I feel like. Like, for me, this is a little too tight. Um, so... But, I mean, obviously, that's fine. You can just loosen the cube. There's no worries in there. So, yeah. I like it. It's nice. Couldn't M move there for some reason. T firm. It's a little slippery with the factory lube on it. I'll wipe that off. And, uh, yeah. But you know what else is gonna be really, really slippery with lube? this next cube because it's Max Park and I don't know if you can see what that says on there about what this cube is it is I just dropped something this 
the 4x4 version, but I got it Max Park Edition. I already have one of these, but it doesn't hurt to have another one. Um, it's in cubicle, the cubicle, the cubicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, here's the thing I have the MGC, right? I have the MGC 4x4. So my main 4x4. I custom set up my Aosu. And that's my backup main. So this, I guess, is trying to compete for a backup main or a main. Yes, first to right off the bat, it is very slippery. So, And of course, it is not set up. Like, it's set up, but it needs to be broken in. So first turns are, of course, you know... I haven't done 4x4 in forever and I kind of forgot parody. <laughs> Cause I've literally only done 3x3 at all for the past like month or two. But obviously breaking this cube in is going to give me the time that I need to get used to 4x4 again. And now I can't even feel the cube because my hands are so sticky. So we're gonna have to move on. But Max Park, from what I can already feel, this is gonna be a main contender. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the final cube, which is the 5x5. Five five. So yeah, let's get into the 5x5. Five five. If I can open this thing. There we go. So, why did I get the GTSM? Why did I get that? Ouch, Wong. Why didn't I just get the WRM, Ouch, Wong? Here's why. I don't need a main 5x5. Five I need a sub main 5x5. Okay, I have the MGC 5, right? Which is awesome cube. But I, the next cube that I have is an old Wushuang. Um, so this is definitely much needed. So let's open it up. And it's black for some reason, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I think I might have misordered, but it's fine. Black cubes are fine in my opinion. My, I believe, like, I have a ton of black sticker cubes. They're fine, really nice, and yeah, this is no different. This is completely fine by me. I don't care. I mean, personally, if you give me a choice, I'm gonna choose the um, the stickerless. But of course, as you know, ha 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 ha. Black plastic is also still like half my collection. I don't know. All right. I mean, yeah, this. It's nice. I definitely, I definitely like the five x five. Again, this is not gonna be my main at all. I've already set up my MDC. I have it, you know, DNM thirty seven Mystic. I have it basically set up like a Mystic Cube, my MGC5, it's, my MGC5 is not leaving my main shelf, so, yeah, but I do really like this. Alright, here is all of the cubes that I got. Plus, of course, as you guys know, the mat in there as well can't really open that but yeah if you want more and some actual photos of these cubes you can go check out my insta um i'm gonna have a uh my at in the description so go check my insta out you can follow me on there i post i post really cool pictures of and i you know of course i'm gonna post pictures of these cubes because these cubes are really cool and they definitely deserve to have their picture so yeah all of these cubes will be uh have a picture uh on my insta but yeah thank you all for watching this was a huge unboxing so you know don't expect this all this time i just wanted to come back um you know and post this because yeah i might do a live stream sometime soon 
Let me know if you guys want that in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Cryptocuber out.